What's up, everybody, and welcome back to some more Throne and Liberty open beta. Today, we are picking up right where we left off at the end of the last episode. We're still in this Castleton hub area. We just Brother arrived, Lupius. talked to like two or three Many NPCs, and now we're making our way over death. to this Good. waypoint uh, to activate it. So with that said, we're just going to jump right into it. I'm not going to waste any time because uh, really the, the beta is not going on for that much longer. So I'll probably be able to get like one to two more episodes in before it it's over. So, uh, but that's okay too, because this game is only about two months out. And when it fully releases, I'll definitely be doing either a live stream or the more footage once it does. Look at that. That's so cute. There's so many sheep. And then there's a little shepherd dog at the back, like a beagle. As always, though, if you guys end up enjoying it, leaving likes really help out a whole lot. And the more likes we get, that means the more I will try to put out as much episodes as I can when this game fully launches as well. Since this only goes for a little bit longer, like I said. Uh, move constantly. Okay. Yeah, we're still getting a lot of tutorial. I am using the bow and the wand still. Now, there was somebody that said the wand is going to be as useful if you're not playing in a party. For right now, that's okay. We're just going to at least try it out. Maybe on, uh, we'll swap to like staff or something at some point as well. That's okay. What do we got? This was once the most prosperous granary in Laslin, but after the cursed rain came, it became infested with strangely enlarged pests. People tried to solve the problem by employing the power of free wizards, but the free wizards' clumsy magic the only music. made things worse. Ooh. So good. I do love like the, the little aerial view. Disgrace introduced waypoints as a great integration of Venelux magic. Teleportation was a rare skill that was only used by a few wizards. Okay. When the wizard clay completed the schema for waypoints, it enabled anyone to teleport freely. You can also bookmark exploration codexes. Bookmarked exploration codices will remain in your notifications even if they leave the area. Okay. So that's like this air this thing right here, I think. Check world map location favorites. All right, so this is still the main objective, but I think this is a side objective or it might be for like the area that we're currently in. Oh, right here. Let's talk to them. Yeah, it's the resistance officer. How do you operate the waypoint? Ah, uh, looks like it's your first time using a waypoint. If you place your hand on a waypoint, the schema will be activated. And the stone will glow blue. Ah. Open your map and select a waypoint activated with blue light. You will be instantly transported to that location. Okay. Once you place your hand on a waypoint, Easy enough. it will glow with blue light, activating the schema. So if you since open the it's glowing right now, waypoint, we already have it activated. You can instantly travel to that location. Cool. It's an easy, simple quest right there. And we hit level three, it looks like. I think I, I think I started at two. All right, let's go. What the heck? Isle of Straw. What are these things, dude? Garib. Let's talk to Oliver. How can I help you? I'd like to meet the herbalist. Um, do you need something from the master? I need rancid power. Oh, rancid pa Okay, he's quiet about that one. Can you make it? Uh, tell me about the ingredients. Do we need Wyatt? Violet, Harvester's, Wasp, Mandrake, Farmstead. Okay, oh, then go to Mandrake. Okay. Oh, he lost his voice. In the apothecary at the Golden Rye Pastures works the always gloomy Oliver Tiller, the herbalist apprentice. Oh, that's beautiful. Oliver has been an apprentice there for some time. Though he has yet to gain the approval of his master. I love the that they highlight the, the, the enemies that you need. A gifted for the student quest. who could memorize the names of countless that is earth, beautiful. but suffered under his eccentric master. I'm always a fan of like making it easily known, or like even if you highlight it, the enemy. It's such a nice thing knowing exactly what you need and highlighting any enemies that drop that thing that you need. 
Ooh. I'm gonna feel pretty good right there. Nice, nice. We got some auto pickup too. I did switch over to my uh, MMO mouse, which I I absolutely love this thing. So it's got the 12 buttons on the side. Let's me just press them rather than moving my hand on my keyboard to press the ones that we need. That feels pretty good right now. Super natural. All right, we got that the one. Main ingredients for rancid powder can be Level acquired four. from harvesters and insects in the golden rye pastures. They are the decomposed heart of a harvester, which controls magical power. A wasp stinger, which controls magical. You gather various crafting and materials. And a contaminated scarab horn, which has a tonic hmm. effect. These ingredients are highly toxic on their own, but highly effective together. Okay. So there's crafting and, and all of that, of course. We'll, we'll stick to the main road for right now. You know, one thing I, I would love to see in games like this, especially as you're traveling, I, I wish if there was like no periods of combat for like, I don't know, after five seconds, it would just hide the HUD except for your like main story objective or like your waypoint. So that way you can just kind of appreciate the world. It'd be so nice if more games did, did that. I'm sure there is a keybind, which I can look. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I really care right this second. But I'm sure there's one that you can press it and it hides the all the UI and, and everything. Welcome but that's okay. to Mandrick Farmstead, where we grow them with love from seed to harvest. <laughs> If it's fresh mandrakes you need, you've come to the right farm. Ah, fine. Ah. Oh, my. Uh, I've just run out of roots. Mm. How about collecting as many as you need yourself? And, in exchange, you can have everything for free. Do what I can to gather them. Then, try harvesting the roots from the mandrakes planted out in the field. By the way, mandrakes will turn violent when you try to harvest their roots, so be extra careful. Okay. Acquire mandrake root from the mandrake. Oh, who would have thought? Oh, so we're actually it's actually a gathering tool there. Interesting. Oh my god, that's a <laughs> The mandrakes are larger than I expected them to be. Activate the waypoint. Talk to the, there's also, well, hold on. So, oh, strong button. There's another quest here, but I don't know where they're located at. I have one selected for, or not selected, for the current location. Check world map location. Oh, right here. So everything I heard about this game or suggestions were to just follow the main story um i mean we can do some of this extra stuff too because it's only going to over level you but i i think if you follow the main story you can pretty much get to what you need like remain the level that you need and then when you do hit a point of oh this next quest needs me to be a higher level that's when you go and do whatever location you're in um but i don't know we'll do this anyways see what's up what it's about what's the matter i was planning to conduct an experiment today but my assistant didn't show up can you help me out sounds easy enough thank you oh, oh what do i oh. was thank you so for your first task i move please fetch the bucket over there <laughs> it's under the roof and has been catching in the meantime okay. i'll set up the experiment please bring the bucket inside i'll the get lab. it done do you pick up a bucket over here Obtain the wooden bucket from wooden bucket with the rain. Why can I not see this? I wonder. Oh, you have to. Okay, I see. So if you heart it, or not favorite, if you favorite it, then it shows the icon. Nice. 
See, this is the stuff that's going to be really useful for, like, the full release of the game. Because we'll already know something like that to be able to just follow it. Rather than searching on the mini-map and everything. Manually. Alright, we got it. Liana's lab. You're just in time. I just finished setting up the experiment. What are you researching? I want to see how rainwater of a certain composition affects this area. Okay, what do you need me to do? I'm going to mix these ingredients in the rainwater you brought to make the experimental rainwater. I want you to sprinkle that rainwater on the scarab and observe while it's wet. All right, sure. Sounds easy enough. Oh, on this scarab? I'm mixing the ingredients in the rainwater. It's She's almost mixing done. the ingredients. Can we actually go into first person? Oh, it I does created work. the experimental rainwater. Okay. Let's grab the rainwater. Be careful. Scarabs can become hostile suddenly when they are soaking wet from rain. Oh god. It's huge. <laughs> I went from being a tiny guy to a big guy. What happened? Oh, I'm glad you were with me. It was the cursed rain that affected the creatures and harvesters in this area. Can you elaborate? A decade ago, Laslin was suddenly hit by tainted rain, which turned the creatures that were touched by it into rampaging monsters. I traced ah. the composition of the tainted rain and learned about the curse-causing ingredients used by the Shadowmancers. The rainwater you just sprinkled was made from those same ingredients. It seems to have the exact same effect as the tainted rain does. I see. I'll report back to Venelux with the results of today's experiment. Thank you for your help, adventurer. No problem. See you around. Cool. Yeah, I didn't realize. Wait, so summoned Helpy instantly restores health. Pull down 6%. Oh, that's sick. So you can get like little pets, I, I guess, down the line. that will follow you. There are there is a lot of stuff in here that reminds me of uh, Black Desert Online, which I I played a decent amount of, but I never really got past of uh, getting your awakening in Black Desert, because at that point it just turns into a huge grind scenario. And I I've always followed the main story during them. I know there's like you can level up in that one by just. Uh, go into different zones you can do it in honestly a few hours I think you can get pretty high level but I don't know that type of grind is always a little tough if you got a story and, a, and an overall objective um, that's something more along my lines activate the waypoint in Wind Hill Shores but I wonder if you'll be able to get... Anyway, going back to Black Desert, I was able to get, like, a German Shepherd in that one. And he followed me around. So I wonder if you can get, like, pets like that to follow you, too. That'd be cool. What's the lore here? While you search for treasures hidden in ships wrecked by storms and chests that have been drifting, you will encounter the masters of the coastline. From a distance, they look like normal crustaceans, but when you get up close, you'll find they pose a greater threat than you anticipated. Hmm. Open the map and view the unlocked regions. Okay. Well, now we got that one en enabled. Where is the icon? There it is. Wilson. Hello, Wilson. What brings you here? Please combine the ingredients. Huh? These are the ingredients needed to make rancid powder. Martinet must have sent you. But how did you know about these ingredients? Your apprentice told me about it. Oliver, that clever boy. How did he figure this out already? He's quite bright. He definitely deserves praise. Herbalists have to go to perilous places to acquire ingredients. But Oliver can't even stand the sight of a mere ant. I'm waiting for him to overcome his fears. What? Wait, what? Well, I'll make the rancid powder for you right away. It must be urgent for you to come all the way out here. But look at me, rambling on. Here's your rancid powder. 
planning to go straight back Jeez. to Martinet? In that case, why don't you try opening your map and teleporting to Castleton? Ah, okay. I like that. My guy's eyes are so green. After acquiring the last I know I said it Lundric last time Farmstead, too. You were able to meet the herbalist Wilson Hinman. He always entrusted the apothecary to his apprentice and collected herbs alone. He had to venture to all sorts of dangerous areas to get medicinal herbs. But his pupil was a coward who would flee at the sight of an ant. Ah, there we go. So his pupil is afraid of any type of combat. Uh, yeah, I get, I get that. Dangerous times. Wow, that was instant. I, I was expecting a like, cutscene or something for not even a cutscene. I mean, uh, more of like a loading screen for a second there. But maybe we weren't too far for that. All right, let's go back in here. Oh, hello. Light fragments whispers. You send someone's presence beyond the door. Okay. Yep. That's the same thing it was like last time. Deliver rancid powder You're to back. Martine. Did you get some rancid powder? Did. Good work. The rancid powder you brought is excellent in quality. I'll make the mono calming potion for you right away. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Here you are. Why don't you try it and see how it works? Thanks. Okay. Uh, talk to her about the Just side effects. Just as I thought, it's much more effective. I tried to improve the efficacy, but I didn't expect the results to be this good. The calming potion's effect is very effective this time. I need to bring this to my sister right away. But as you know, I'm in no position to be wandering around outside. I'll help you since you helped me. Oh, thank you so much. I made this potion earlier and used the same method to make it once more. Please pass it on to my sister's friend, Mina Pai. Only Mina knows where my sister is. She told me to come find her at Windhill Shores if I ever needed to give my sister something. Go there to find Mina's trail. Yahoo! Okay. Exit Castleton Infirmary. The effect of the mana calming potion that Martinet made was incredible. Soon after you drank the potion, you could feel your magic begin to settle down. Martinet, who had been researching a way to relieve her older sister Adriana's pain for so long, finally succeeded in creating a potion more effective than her other attempts. Oh boy, that one's kind of far. We have a, let me guess, we can fast travel back to our closest one and then go there. Yeah. You can move characters at or below level 30 for free. Okay. That's actually kind of nice. And then since we leveled up, before we actually go out there, let's see. Can I F10? We'll go to leveling log. Claim reward. Leveling log pass. What is this? Premium log leveling activates the premium rewards for leveling. Allows you acquire permanent rewards for level up to level 50. Okay. You do get some lucent, so I guess you could in game, but this is also the thing that you could purchase with real life money. Okay. Yeah, I mean, as much as it's been nice playing things like Once Human, where that game has tons and tons of, like, actually free-to-play stuff, this game, on the other hand, is absolutely going to have a lot of uh, pay-for-convenience or pay-to-win pay mechanics as well. So, two opposite sides of of gaming in general but all right we got three points to apply let's do another dexterity 
I think I might do another perception. So it's like weakened chance. Oh yeah, melee hit, ranged hit. Let's do two perception. Sure, that works. And then we're still using the wand for right now. That's fine. Can we or should we level up any abilities? It also shows the codex. Battle pass. Of course, there is a free tier and a premium tier. Can you even buy the premium tier in the beta? You can. I just hope this stuff doesn't transfer over. They give you all the Lucent, so I guess we can try it and see what happens. All right, you know what? Let's let's give it a shot. So we have more here too. Oh, here's all the ones that you can. Ah, oh, that wait, that's kind of cool. Wild Skull, Saber Talon, Proud Tan. Aeon? Uh, it's not Talon. Aeon? Shadow Skull? <laughs> Wait, you can become different ones too? Like a rabbit? Huh. That's interesting. Oh, and then you can also change the one you use for gliding too. Oh, that, that, I mean, this is cool. Jeez. And then swim. Oh my god, you become an otter. Or a turtle. Alright, some of these are kind of cool. <laughs> it's different. It's different. So what do we... Do we get anything for having this now? We got acquired. Daily, week, and always. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to that leveling log. I mean, we've got the points, right? It gives it to you in-game, so let's try it. Claim rewards. Oh, we have to scroll backwards, too. Oh, I see, I see. Edit HUD. So this is all the standard stuff that you unlock. And then these are the premium stuff. I guess this magic powder is going to be useful for, yeah, use to craft equipment. Use for uncommon weapon upgrades. I see. All right. Just wanted to take a little look at the in-game uh, upgrades and stuff since we leveled up a few times. So might as well. But here we go. So now we're on our way over to this I enabled auto run on our way over to this Mina below the spiral cliff in Windhill Shores and there's also golems in the wild 150 your guild members defeat golems in the raging wild content notifications Where's this person? Uh, he was back over where we just left. That's okay. Does it tell you what level you should be for each thing? I don't think so. All right, let's talk to Mina. Oh, there's a dog. Uh-huh. How can I help you? Here's the mana calling potion. Yeah, you brought it. If she sent you, sorry, but Adrian isn't exactly here now. Okay, where'd she go? The news from the High was unexpected. I don't know. Adriana had ventured far away to avoid the Archim Legion, who had discovered her hideout. She said that no matter how effective her potions were, they never lasted long enough. Okay. Adriana set out to find a way to completely soothe the tempestuous mana. I really like that. So if the voice actors don't have like dialogue, at least there's like a narrator. Or I mean, if the dialogue doesn't have any voice acting, sorry, backwards. If the dialogue does not have any voice acting, then at least the narrator seems to be like giving you a recap. 
of what's going on. So that's that's actually awesome. Sounds like people are moving around behind the entrance. Uh, hello there. Oh. Unfortunately, we're a bit late. That one must have taken Adriana away. You have a star fragment just like that girl. I won't be going home empty-handed after. Oh boy. Damn, that thing's powerful. You oh, dare maybe. interfere with our plans? I'll kill you! That was pretty cool. Hand over the star fragment! Got him. It's a skill you use by directing it. You can use the agent. Uh, okay. Yep. That's pretty much what we just did right there. Go with this. With time. A bunch of research paper. There's another journal. Book on the chest. I felt someone's presence in my sleep. I thought it was just Mina at first, but then I could tell from the heavy footsteps that the intruder was someone I didn't know. I quickly hid myself and watched the intruder pass by. The pattern engraved on their sword meant that they were part of the Archeum Legion. <gasps> just why yeah, are the Archeum just looking for me again? I can't allow that tragedy to be repeated. It's probably time for me to leave. The Archeum Legion attacked the lighthouse where Adriana had been one. hiding. Seeking the power of a star fragment. Ooh, there's a chest up here, Only too. after defeating them, did you discover her research papers and a diary she had left behind. There, she had clearly recorded the difficult times she had been through. I That is so good. I, I love the narrator, like, explaining things. Again, just in case of... Because sometimes the dialogue might not be the best, but it, it just lays out, here's what just Hi? happened. Because even if you're not following the main story, because I know a lot of people that play MMOs like this kind of just keep, you, you know, you skip through everything. You can at least get the recap of what just happened. Ornate book. I mean, I skip through a little bit if it's not voiced, but I, I really like that. You rotate the object in investigation, hold down the cursor changes to manipulate it. Touch the golden flower on the book cover. Ah. Found a key. Maybe you can open the chest with this key. Got it. Look inside the wrought iron chest. This is it parchment paper? Just who was Janice Carter anyway? She recognized my power immediately and knew that as long as I possessed it, I would be targeted by Archeum for the rest of my life. Mm. She ended up telling me that the only way to truly be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find some way to gain control over my power. You found a piece of parchment that looked like a letter. The letter contained details about Janice Carter, someone Adriana had met. Janice. Recognizing the strength of the star Infinity fragment, wheel. advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible and find a way to control her power. Hmm. This is going to be like a look back in time or something. Ah, yep. Archeum forces captured Martine, the younger of two twin sisters. By keeping her hostage, 
they forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archean forces had altered the ritual. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Laslin. Wherever the rain fell, creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. In the aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations, swallowed by guilt over her role in causing the cursed rain. Ouch. <laughs> Exit the lighthouse. Ooh, can we glide from here? That would be kind of cool. Press B to return to Castleton and then travel to Castleton in Infirmary. I will press B. Over there we go. Instant. I love that. I actually love that. Need something. Okay. Grab that paper, because why not? Where are all the hunters going? Yeah, I'm definitely interested in seeing where this game goes on launch. It seemed like the game hit a lot of uh players over the weekend too. A good hundred, two hundred thousand. Something around there. Now, unfortunately, none of the progress from the beta here cross, crosses over, but, and, and that's one of the reasons why I typically don't spend too much time in betas. Like, I, I spend typically a few hours, if that, and then wait for the full release. Where's Martin at? All right, we'll wait for the recap. Found a letter. I was able to hear about his sister before it was too late. Thank you. All right. Exit. In the past, Adriana had unleashed the cursed rain under the. Is there someone out what? there? Can anyone help me? Wait, keep going. I was listening to that. Wait, maybe if I do this. Give me the recap. Final reward section? Oh, I get to choose another one of these? Ah, uh, I could actually I could do the crossbow and the bow if I really wanted to. I didn't think about that part. Let's stick with the bow though, and then claim reward. Where does it? Is there a way I can play the recap? Now we're in. Chapter 2. Collection near Castleton. Oh, these are all like the letters we found. I walked too fast. Well, basically, Is she hid. Can anyone help me? We, we get that. She there ran isn't away. There's not much time left. Oh, what should I do? Why are you worried? There's something that I desperately need, but no one will even listen to me. Couldn't you find it in your heart to help me out, adventurer? What's going on? Have you ever heard of this monster known as Iskale the Greyfanged? He was this dreadful wolf that possessed terrible marvescence. Back in my younger days, I almost ended up getting killed by Iskale. The only reason I'm alive to speak to you about this today is that Henry, the Lord's son, came to rescue me and the other children. He heroically sacrificed his own life to defeat Iskale. Whenever I get the chance, 
I try to visit Henry's grave in Castleton Abbey to leave some offerings. Last time, I made some gloves for him using the hide of a rabbit that I caught. The anniversary of Henry's death is coming soon, so I'd like to prepare a special gift for his grave. I saw a beautifully crafted keepsake at an old hunter's house once. He said he got it from participating in the wolf hunting contest that is held in Henry's memory. I wish I could get one of those keepsakes and bring it to Henry's grave, but I'm still too young to participate in the contest. You know what? I'll get you at a, keys a keepsake. You don't mind? You'll really get one of those keepsakes for me? If that's the case, then I... No, never mind. Oh, more to this. Actually, it would be nice if I could have two of these keepsakes. Do you think it'd be possible to get two? Alright, I'll do it. Thank you so much, adventurer! The contest is hosted at the Lord's Residence in Castleton. Go there and ask how you can participate. Brother, this way! Come over here for a second! Who's calling for me? Wait, what? How did I hear you? Where are... I swear, the minimap confuses me so much. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's because it doesn't change with the direction that you are. Let's see. What does this do? Oh, you can also put it right in the center. Interesting. If I press it once. Okay. So this is the upcoming schedule. Stop the mana frenzy. Blood mushroom gathering. Oh, here you go. Yep, so here's the timetable. So there's east, east. I guess that's like non-combat stuff. And then the other one is combat. Oh no, you still have monsters. I guess it will explain over time. I kind of, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the uh, action mode so far though. I like being able to move my camera or like move the mouse and it moves the camera. All right, let's talk to Dave. Ah, uh, so many things to do. Making arrangements for the contest, checking up on the farm. I hear there's a wolf hunting contest. I know that you've come a long way, but our situation is pretty bad. We might even have to shut down the contest at this rate. <gasps> no. We must lure the wolves to proceed with the contest. But the bait we've been using just isn't working. Lord Hobbs cherishes this contest. He hasn't missed a single one. You have no idea how much trouble I'll be in if this year's event falls flat. Oh, um, wait. If you're here for the contest, can you please help me? I need some ingredients to make a new kind of bait. I'm after some wolf hunting keepsakes. A wolf hunting keepsake? But that's... Um, no, never mind. But first, you need to help me procure the ingredients needed for the bait, okay? Sure. Please defeat the crackle in the wrecks on Wind Hill Shores. They're tricky to find, but the wolves love eating them. The stench of crackle meat is irresistible bait for beasts like them. Also, investigate any chests that are left in the wrecks. They often contain fishing bait, which is quite effective as well. Please remember, okay. crackle are difficult prey to hunt, so you should equip at least uncommon level armor. But why don't you pay a visit to Armor Crafter Rachel? Armor Crafter Rachel. <laughs> Dave, okay. the Lord's aide, was concerned that the bait he was using for the wolf hunting contest wasn't effective enough. He decided to solve Whoa, this problem by developing a, a new now. kind. To get a keepsake for Soyuri, you must first gather the ingredients for this new bait from Windhill Shores. Okay. So we got two things here. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, Trying to, to learn how to fly can be a little rough. Oh, man. All right, let's go over to... Armor Crafter Rachel. Where are they? It's one of these two. Storage Manager, Armor Crafter. We do need to go there too, but we'll go to uh, this. 
I wonder what the icons over people's head means. Like I see this person, that's probably the icon I have. But then this person has that one. Maybe if I go to char character info? Level seven. Do we already equip this or no? Oh no, we still need to equip that. Do more dexterity. Range critical hit. What is wins wisdom increases that? Range defense. I'll do some defense stuff. Hero Whisper Island. Holder of Secret. Okay. I know the entire crafting process. You there. Just Why don't you try on some new armor? Hi, Dave sent me to see you. Ah, you must be the adventurer that our aid mentioned. So, you're off to hunt Crackle. That means you're in need of some tough armor. Usually, you need to bring materials to crafters like us to make armor. Since you came through Dave's introduction, I will provide the materials just this one time. Okay. Try crafting the armor you need. The Lord's aid, Dave, introduced you to an armor smith at Castleton. Craft the uncount, uncommon Rachel armor some materials with Rachel. and told you to craft some armor. Okay, so we talk Do to her. You need stronger armor. Select the category to find the equipment you are looking for, and select the necessary materials and quantities, and then craft. Okay. So, is there? Anything, I mean, here's Avenger's hat. Ranged endurance. Melee and vision. So I'm assuming I would want something that does, yeah, like the Avenger's hat. My guess is it has melee defense. The traits are locked though. Assassin hood. Critical hit. Marksman hat. Blind hit chance or er, hit. Okay, so I think marksman hat sounds better than assassin hat is kind of cool. I do like that critical hit chance though. One day we'll I do the marksman one though. Craft. Crafting was successful. So are we doing like a full set here? All right, we can't craft anything else. What is this? Rare magic powder. So we would need these materials. See. All the back pieces. Marksman leather armor. We would need quality rune leather. Open chest. Yeah, we still don't have enough. There's the assassin's leather armor. Priest prayer raiment. Okay. And then let's go to character info. So we have this hat now. Equip that. Can I actually hide the hat? If I want to. Show headgear. There it is. <laughs> Little toggle. Beautiful. I love that. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really the biggest fan of some hats in games like this. Okay, cool. So, what else do we need? We gotta do. Here's what I made. Oh, no, not a bad job at all. Now, upgrade the armor. You know how, right? The more okay. you upgrade your armor, the more damage it can withstand. Here. I will give you some material. That's all I can teach you. You successfully crafted armor. She's going to show me how to upgrade materials. it now. You will bring more materials you find on the road to a crafting Maybe I should have other types of armor. I feel like I should have made a chest piece instead of a body piece there, but all right, so how do we do upgrades? Equipment enchanting section. We're going to select this. So this is going to upgrade it. Growth stones are acquired through various content and allow you to upgrade your equipment power. You can preview the amount of materials required to enhance your item. Each upgrade 
uh, attempt results. So this is where it kind of gets a little questionable for games like this is there's a percentage that you can actually upgrade. So you can grind, you can do everything, get the materials, but even when you have them, there's a percentage that those resources you use might not actually upgrade it. I ran into that. It was going to be way too much of a grind for Lost Ark. That's when I kind of put the game down. But I guess we'll see if if it's any better in this one. Each upgrade attempt results in a varied amount of progress towards leveling your items. Materials item. you have in storage. Equipment. So this tells you level will reach 100%. You can see the power increase that will be gained once the equipment is leveled up and an upgrade value. So maybe it's not. It's just saying that there's a 40%. It upgrades it. I guess we'll find out. So let's do level up. Greater growth light soaks. So we got 60%. Continue until next level. Rachel told you to develop your armor to withstand high impact attacks. You'll have to learn to craft better armor pieces and improve them. There, okay, it is the percentage. Ahead. So 40% chance to grow, 35% for equipment. Intermediate, 30% chance to grow 40% for equipment. 20% chance to grow for 60% of for equipment. I can make you something but leveling up, 25% of the overflow growth spans to the next level. And then from my understanding, uh, I did watch a little bit of Shroud. Is in this game, if you change classes or something, you can actually transfer like levels to other pieces of equipment. So if I wanted to level this, 100% of materials, equipment's XP will be transferred to the target item. Great enchanted materials will have their trait XP converted to specific item. Currently equipped items can be used as material after unequipping. Okay. And then same thing with traits. Let's try leveling up our bow too. So I just used all those resources until we level this up. And I'm assuming if we ran out of resources, then it's just going to be like, traits, you're all out. So choose wisely. But, Come back soon. all right. I mean, Hello, early on Company upgrades, easy. Out. Not really a big problem. It's not until you get towards the end game stuff or you finish the Have main story the or it's very you put convenient. a decent amount of hours in where then it, it becomes more of a problem. So, I met with Martin A, thanks to you. Okay. Growth stone, so they're telling me about enchanting again. Like a weapon to upgrade. Oh, this guy was going to tell me about it. Sure, we'll do this. Level two. Okay. So, you can only upgrade uncommon, which are the greens. Enter the ship shipwreck. All right, cool. Well, we are actually going to leave this episode right here. We'll probably be able to, or I'll probably be able to record at least one more. Uh, I'm not probably going to do it back to back, but tomorrow the beta ends. So I will try to do at least one more of just seeing where it goes uh, with chapter two. And then from there, we'll be late waiting for the full release. As always, though, if you guys ended up enjoying this, leaving likes really help out a whole lot. Thank you for watching the previous one. Thank you for watching this one. Join the Discord if you want announcements anytime I go live or post new videos. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.